Hey guys! In this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own makeup brushes. I made this myself and I'm going to show you how you can make them. But before going to the DIY, I want to challenge those brushes and show you how they work. So we are going to challenge them against the MAC brushes. So what I did is I did the eye makeup on my right eye using the MAC brushes. I used the 239 and the 217 brush to make this look, which looks like this. And now we're going to try to recreate this eye makeup on my left eye using just my brushes and of course mascara and eyeliner but for the brushes i'm just gonna use the brushes that i made so please keep watching if you want to know how you can do these brushes yourself and of course how they work i'm starting my look with a corally peach color by sweeping it on the lids with my brush i was actually surprised how well it picks up and deposits color as you can see on my other eye, I'm going for a very soft, well-blended everyday look. In the crease and the outer part of the lid, I'm applying a matte brown shadow and I already start blending it so that we won't have any harsh lines. I'm building the color gradually, therefore I need to repeat this step several times to get it as dark as I want. Here I'm just retouching on my corally color on the lid to make it more pigmented. To blend the edges even further, I'm taking a matte color close to my skin tone and apply it on the upper edge of the brown shadow. Now you want to highlight the inner corners of your eyes for that bright pop. Below my lower lash line I decided to smudge the same matte brown for a little more definition on the eyes. Next I'm just creating a winged line on my top lash line and for this I'm using a felt tip eyeliner. Line your waterline with light brown, curl those lashes, apply a coat of your favorite mascara and there you have it, we're done! So this is how the makeup turned out. My eye makeup looks like this. And as I said, I only used my brushes on my left eye and I used the MAC ones on my right eye. And now I really want to show you how you can make your own brushes like this too. So let's go to the DIY. To make your own makeup brush, all you need are some pliers, scissors, a glue, a pencil that comes with the eraser and some hair. Natural hair makeup brushes are known as the best on the market. To make them they most commonly use fur of squirrels, horses and goats. But I want to leave those beautiful animals alone so I have another idea. Psst. Okay, now we have all the ingredients and we can proceed. Take your pencil and using pliers, carefully remove the eraser so you get a hole like that. Take the hair and you want to cut one side straight like so, since this side will be glued. Now apply some glue on the hair, just so that it kind of holds the hair together a bit. Then drip a few drops of the glue on the bottom of the hole and don't forget to put some glue on the sides as well. This is a crucial step since you want your hair to be very firmly attached to the handle. You want to be able to clean your brush under water and if you don't glue the hair firmly enough you will probably make a mess. Then just glue the hair to the pencil like I'm doing here and remove the excess hair. Add a few more drops of the glue on the edges to be really sure that the hair will stay in place. Finally gently squeeze the metal part of the pencil with the pliers. Now you need to cut the hair and this is where you can be really creative and tailor your brush exactly to how you need it. You can make a standard blending brush as me or you can make it more pointy for when you want to concentrate the color just into your crease for example. The quality of your brush will in most part depend on the hair you're using. 
The softer the hair, the more will your brush be able to blend the eyeshadow. Soft hair is also important as the skin on our lids is extremely sensitive. Also make sure you use clean hair for your brush as you don't want any bacteria on your face. And don't get me wrong, I still love my MAC brushes and I'm not trying to say that the brushes I'm making are better. I just wanted to show you how you can be creative if you don't have any brushes and prove you that they can do the work. For me the most important features of a good brush are its ability to deposit color without causing much fallout of the shadow and the ability to blend the shadow well. As you can see here the brush applies the color very well and it also works nice with blending. You can also make a flat stiff brushes like this one, which could work for smudging shadow under the eyes. Just cut some more hair and squeeze harder with the pliers to get a flat shape. Thank you so much for watching my makeup brush DIY. Please share it with your friends if you find it interesting and check out my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook page. Bye!